Um, Anna, thank you so much for being here and for an amazing panel. Um, can you, in a couple sentences, um, just tell us what was the main thing you wanted to convey to the audience today? I wanted to convey um, that the only way to really stay sane covering Ukraine crisis is to stick to old school of journalism rules, um, to really try to be on the spot, on the ground, and uh, figure out what, when, who, how many, to answer the simple questions and try to um, stay away as much as you can from this uh, enormous pressure of propaganda. Mm -hmm. Propaganda from whom? From all sides. Uh, I don't feel any pressure from New York uh, yeah. or from Washington. As I'm a freelance, I have um, editors everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but definitely feel uh, influenced by um, TV reports uh, on both sides. In Ukraine and in, and in Moscow. Uh, although you know, I'm not uh, watching television too much. Okay. Try not. To. Um, you've worked in some pretty amazing places. Um, you were saying you were in Chechnya and Beslan and Nordost. How does the, covering this conflict compare to covering those conflicts? A lot of pain everywhere, and I really asked whoever is uh, there not to show me burnt children again as Bislan was uh, the most um, heartbreaking story I ever covered. But once again, unfortunately, on the field um, of M17 crash, uh, we saw a group of um, dead children. That was the, the, the worst. It's always the most painful part. Um, it is also difficult to um, be the one, you know, who people cry on a lot. The people hug you and they, they, they shed tears. Uh, I, that happened to me in Mikhailov when I uh, spoke with widows uh, whose um, husbands were killed by uh, what they believed Russian army. And uh, in Lviv, I just visited Lviv where parents were also sharing their um, sad emotions with me. And of yeah. course it happens all the time in Donbass. Um, right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Um, to switch uh, topics for a little bit, what got you into journalism in the first place? It is a very interesting story. Uh, it takes a long time to tell it, <laughs> but um, I, I've never been trained as a journalist. I, um, I was teaching English at school in St. Petersburg, and then I, uh, I was in business. I had my private ballet school. I'm a former ballerina. Oh my goodness! Uh, but my father is a journalist. And my husband was dreaming to be a reporter all his life. So we um, talked a lot about it. Uh, at some point, a uh, Washington Post writer visited St. Petersburg, where I lived at that time. And when was this? It was 98 or 97. So we took a walk, and uh, we were sitting on a rooftop at some point, And he asked me if I had any story ideas. And I told him that in Russia, ballerinas were growing really tall and they couldn't find partners, that ballet was changing proportions by all means, and choreography too. He said, that's the story, we're going to do it and you're going to be my fixer. That was the yeah. first time I heard that word. Yeah. So um, I would suggest that all young reporters think about it, that to fix for an experienced writer, especially in Ukraine right yeah. now, yeah. there are so many great journalists coming from all over the world, mm -hmm. experienced uh, reporters, um, if you speak English, go and work as a fixer mm -hmm. for this reporters on the field. Share your own mm -hmm. experience. Learning from the inside out. You know. Yes, they're the bridge. They're the bridge to characters. They sometimes find great ideas. That they definitely fix all the interviews, schedule them, and translate them. Yeah. So it is a great school. I was doing it for uh, several years for the Washington Post. Mm -hmm. And that was the, I would say that that was the best school of journalists because what happened during those years yeah. in Russia, yeah. the biggest stories, yeah. you know, the Chechen war, um, the crisis, the beginning of Putin, and um, every year we had some terrible, terrible news or something. Um, and the way we lost the television, this free television, Russia was changing and transforming into a completely different country. So that I'm very thankful that I started yeah. reporting during yeah. those years. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Anna.